For the funeral for Pope Emeritus Benedict the 16th just wrapped up a few minutes ago. And leading that solemn and historic ceremony was Benedict's successor, Pope Francis. Tens of thousands attending that funeral mass, along with over 100 cardinals, 400 bishops, and 4,000 priests. Well, joining us this morning to share some perspective and her personal experience of covering news of the Vatican is former CBS 3 anchor Pat Chiraki. Good morning, Pat. Yeah, good morning to you both. What a historic day yes. this is at the Vatican. And thank you so much for inviting me back to be able to share some points of view. Yeah, what I noticed, the silence in St. Peter's Square, filled with the leadership of the Worldwide Catholic Church, giving way to choirs singing the traditional hymns and the liturgy of the Catholic funeral, the funeral of a pope, but a pope emeritus, a pope who resigned nearly 10 years ago to this date and made history in the process for uh, Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. So you're looking live there at St. Peter's Square where it's become very quiet. The uh, Holy Father had asked for a simple ceremony and the ceremony today, the mass today was almost an hour and a half. That's really different as compared to when John Paul II died in 2005, that funeral mass went for three hours. Uh, the funeral mass was celebrated by Pope Francis, as you could see. Really unique in itself. A su successors generally are selected, aren't selected until a pope dies. But in this case, because of the resignation of Benedict XVI in 2013, today was even more historic. However, Jim, Janelle, this is really reminiscent of John Paul II, a simple wooden coffin mm. that surrounds a, uh, a, a more um, intense type of coffin and, lay and layers of coffin. However, what's interesting to hear is that that open book, that's the book of the Gospels. And uh, the, the book of the Gospel that Benedict held to closest to his heart because that is how he lived his life based on on the gospel. A theologian. Mm. He, he was a, a real doctrinal conservative um, and wrote 60 books over a period of 30 or 40 years. Wow. I mean, it's almost a book a year. So he was very erudite. He saw himself as a teacher uh, and then certainly a history maker. What stood I, out this morning as far as the service? Well, uh, again, the simplicity of it. Um, it the thing that also that uh, struck me was that Pope Francis, who you know we had celebrated mm -hmm. here back in 2015, um, he was in a wheelchair. Um, he has had sciatica. He's had knee problems. So to be able to stand would be, have been very difficult for him in, to actually celebrate the mass. But the other thing too that struck out that um, stood out to me was the cardinals who were there. But they weren't. They were not. There was not every cardinal in the Catholic Church mm -hmm. because there's not a conclave which would select the next pope. Interesting, interesting. Mm -hmm. This really is unprecedented to have a sitting pope oversee the funeral mass for exactly. a former pope. Yeah, and it was Be it was Benedict who was the celebrant at the mass for John Paul II wow. in 2000. I forgot about that. Yes. yes, because he was the dean of the College of Cardinals, mm -hmm. and so he was the one who was selected and also a very close friend. One of the things that had struck me about that in 2005, and I found something similar today, uh, is that toward the end of the Mass for John Paul II, there, there were hundreds of thousands of people in St. Peter's Square at that point, and there was this chant that started in the back of St. Peter's Square, and the chant was this, Santo Subito, Santo Subito. And my photographer looked at me, goes, what's, what's that mean? <laughs> I said, it means saint immediately. Wow. Mm. And then as we know, John Paul II has become, was canonized a saint in the Catholic Church. Right. Today, there was also just a single sign being held above someone's head, and it said for Benedict, Santo Subito. Very so I had really wondered at that point, and thinking about it now, what would Benedict have been thinking? He's standing at the funeral mass of the man, then ultimately he succeeds, and he's hearing this, becoming a saint in the mm. Catholic Church. I was thinking that could potentially be very intimidating. Um, yeah. But for Benedict, most likely not, and he welcomed it. Well, Pat, we appreciate you being here. You're going to be joining us uh, for the rest of the morning show, so thanks so much for getting up at this early hour. Yes. Always a pleasure. Good to have you back, Pat. Thank All you. right, we'll Thank see you in you. a little bit.